I can't believe it. My tie rod came out. So we got a call for a truck and a trailer. I guess it's like a triple axle toy hauler. It's stuck on some gravel driveway up uh, near New Harmony area. We're gonna head up there and see if we can get it out. It's probably gonna get dark on us because it's getting late in the day. We got a little bit of driving to do to get to it. It is a beautiful day outside. It's perfect, 70 degrees, sun shining, no wind. Follow along for the ride. Good evening. You made it. I did. So this is the way to get in front of it, right? Yep. That's the alternate way. Okay. Holy smokes. Yeah, this is a lot of weight on this much incline, that's for sure. I was going to try jackknife in the morning. I thought I might just get myself in more of a hole. The issue that we have is that yard hydrant up there has a small leak and it's wet on the other side and hit a soft spot. All right. Fancy. Hey, you got about three feet. Three feet. You got it. Up, up. Oh, we got I think I'm gonna do snatch walk. Yeah, so go ahead and turn that off. Oh, so you're just gonna snatch it and try to pull it grab, to the grab the snatch block and a soft shackle. Yeah, we're just gonna pull it and just get it up here as far as we can. Well, I think we uh, made the driveway a little too steep. I think it's back down a little bit. You'll be fine. Well, we made the first turn and I got here and then I just I was running my tire right here. The trailer axles hit right behind you and it just sunk towards that tree. All right. Hey, you ready, Lizzie? Yeah. They're almost out of winch. Can you take a second and crank his trailer up with the jack and throw some boards under that side? This thing's getting pretty close to his bed. Oh, yeah. Is that... So are we trying to get him underneath those wheels? Yeah, just so okay. it's not lean. Where's, so... our, where's our fuel bed for that? He's got them. Okay, that's fine. So this thing is heavy. We got the a little bit of dunnage put under the... That side of the trailer tires. Relocated the Jeep. We're pulling a different angle. We're gonna give it a shot now. like about this well you have to double handle it to open it but once you do it is so nice thank you Robbie so fancy I know it's like way too fancy for us here you go <laughs> thank you I'm good here you go all Appreciate right it. thank you well. guys. that was a crazy pull that gravel was super super wet and so the trailer was sinking in banana did an awesome job now we can put our Good job, Lizzie. So we got a call for a side-by-side -side that is stuck down in the Rattlesnake Trail somewhere. I think they took it swimming and it's not running anymore. So we're gonna head down there, see if we can get it out. We got Colin with the weather. It's a nice cloudy day. It's not too bad. I don't know the degrees. 65, we'll say that. Should you get that? We'll get them out. I know. <laughs> says that they drove it through some water and now it won't 
run, so I don't know if it means it won't start or if it won't go because the belt's wet. Either way, we'll get them found and we'll get them up out of here. back to their camp at Sand Hollow. We're gonna unload it and leave it here. All right, so who gets the shirt? <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna go through it right now. All right, we got them dropped off, but we are not done. We've got another razor that's broken up on the West Rim Trail. So we're gonna head up there and see if we can get it back to where it needs to go. It's got a little windy, so hopefully we don't get sand in our eyes. My tie rod came out. Yeah. This. Not a pins in them. Not that one. Not in any of them. Whose job was that? Great question. Hey Siri, call Rudy. So I've been the dunes. I just was cruising up and I've lost one of the castle nuts on my tie rod. What do you need? I need a castle nut off from a, one of the tie rod ends that's there. Okay, send me your location and I'll head out there. All right, so I've got an awful idea that I think is going to work. So since this one's still jammed in there really tight, it'll still hold. I took the nut off of that one. I made sure it was good and tight first. Now I'm going to put the nut in here and tighten this one up. Rudy's coming. He's going to catch us really fast. So I'm just going to keep moving towards our target. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll be in the same boat we're in now where we're just stranded. We're going to try to limp it into the top of the world. That way, at least, we're, we're making progress. I think we're going to make it. Don't leave the cotter pins out. There's our help right there. It's coming. I can't believe this. So whose fault did you say this was? I don't know who to blame. <laughs> Trevor, why did you put the cotter pins in? Trevor? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I've got, actually, I don't have any cotter pins. <laughs> you should put some in yours. Let this be a lesson to you. Mine don't even have the cotter pin option. So we're the blue dot, and we're going to the red dot. Right now, everything has gone right. Thank you, Rudy, for coming and helping us do that. That was a gnarly climb you just did. Thanks, Chanel. She's been filming. I saw that. And we're heading back to the yard. This is going to Moto Zoo in the morning. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Ouch. I have a really 
really nasty sunburn from yesterday. Rubbing it up against trees does not feel good. 